share with the group, and then Christopher, and then open it up to Q&A. Well, thanks a lot, Bob. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. I'm sorry I was a little late. This is my third uh, meeting this evening. Uh, I had me and my sons at Confederate Veterans Camp was meeting at Slash Church, which is where I'm a member, and I got the key to the church, so I got to go. I got to let them in. So anyway, so that kind of threw me behind. So anyway, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, yeah, my name is Buddy Fowler. I am the Republican candidate uh, for the House of Delegates in the 55th District. Um, brief history about myself: I was a small business owner uh, when my partner died suddenly. Uh, I was forced with the, uh, to sell the business and sell up with his widow. At that point, I was friends with Frank Hargrove. He stuck his hooks in me, asked me to come down to the General Assembly. And they were in the minority, and my job w was to get the Republican Party from not being in the minority any longer and being in the majority, and, uh, in which we were successful. Um, in the year 2000, Frank asked me to start, uh, also as his full-time legislative aide, so I had the privilege of working with Frank until he retired in 2009, at which point Doug and John Cox asked me to continue on working with John. So uh, that's my, how I became uh, acquainted with the General Assembly. Um, when John retired back in January, uh, you know, I kind of told him I was hoping he would have gone a little bit longer than we could have retired at the same time. but. Uh, you know, he had other ideas. Uh, we were looking around for a candidate to, to, to succeed John, a Republican candidate. Uh, you know, with the next thing I know, I'm right there raking leaves in the yard, and you know, my phone rang and said, guess what, we want you to be the candidate. So at any rate, this is how I got here. Uh, other people, once I got into the race, decided to fall out of uh, the race with Republican nomination. So uh, I did receive the nomination, and now I'll be on the ballot. Uh, on November 5th. Um, I am a conservative candidate. I love liberty as much as anybody in this room. Uh, you know, we'll get to some specific issues later. I didn't really have any prepared remarks. Uh, one thing I'm focusing on on their door to door is, you know, business and the economy. That's what I'm talking about, you know, in terms of our budget, our deficit, our funding for the programs that we do uh, here in, in the Commonwealth. You know, we need more taxpayers not more taxes, okay? Uh, Delegate Cox uh, voted against the, uh, the big road uh, tax bill last year. You know, uh, you can include me in that. I would not have supported that bill for a lot of different reasons which we can get into later. Let me see, I'm trying to think what else. Part of my uh, personal background, uh, my wife and I live over off of Mount Herman Road, which is in between Ashland and Hanover Courthouse. Uh, we attend Slash Christian Church where we were married. My kids were baptized there. My oldest daughter was uh, married there. Uh, I've been active with Ashton Boy Scout Troop for many, many years. Uh, I'm a life member of the National Rifle Association. I've been endorsed by the NRA as well as Virginia Citizens Defense League, so, which means I'm strong on the Second Amendment. I've been endorsed by Virginia Farm Bureau from the National Federation of Independent Business and many other groups, Commonwealth Sportsman's Alliance in my spare time. I spend a lot of time with my beagles in the woods chasing rabbits. Uh, I also like to fish. And again, uh, you know, so anyway, I look forward to your questions. And uh, thank you, Bob. That's all. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Uh, Mr. Thank you very much for inviting me to the delegate of the district. I have to say that whenever I'm invited to the show, I'm really honored to show that 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 I'm really honored to
And that was at which point, um, so and at that point, uh, really could have picked so and at that point, uh, really could have picked 26 miles south of Fredericksburg to move back down 60 miles south of Fredericksburg, where my wife and I now have a very humble, where my wife and I now have a very humble raise uh, dairy goats. Uh, we've raised meat uh, chicken dairy goats. And, uh, uh, my kids have a full-time petting zoo with the ducks. My kids have a full-time petting zoo with the ducks. Chickens if you know the area, you um, right around the corner from the you know the area, you right around the corner from the gas station, which is my favorite. Class three, three fire gas dealers. station and uh, class um, three firearms dealers. I'm, I'm running for, um, for this office. I'm, I'm running for, for this office because I, I, I feel that Virginia has been there with this duty. Virginia has been there with this duty of looking out for the of Virginia. The federal government has trampled on the federal government for too long. Trampled on Virginia stood by for too long. And Virginia. then it stood by people get upset when they have health care. People get upset when they have five over a well, hundred years. Well, when we buy them tell you that hundred years of file under having them tell you that everything is just files or interstate commerce policy flaws and interstate commerce applies when they say and and health can't be surprised when they say and and health care too. We're gonna do college and now you I, I feel that at the um, state level, so um, I, I feel that at the state level, um, there's, there's certainly room for efficiency. Um, a couple of different ways that you can possibly find. A couple of different ways that you can find. I've got a couple of different ways that you can find. I've got a couple of different ways that you can find. I've got a couple of different ways that you can find. I've got a couple of different ways that you can find. I've got a couple of different ways that you can find. I've got a couple of different ways that you can find. I've got a couple of different ways that you can find. I've got a couple of different ways that you can find. I've got a couple of different ways that you can find. Um, and um, but, but really, my entire um, platform but, but really around, my entire trying to make platform centers around the state. Trying to make that's not Virginia our real goal. You can feel that's not and more really goal. Want money to reach and we really want to be free. Like, like we, you know, do we deep down want to be free of the people? And deep down, we hate your fellow people. And influence them, hate your fellow people. So I'm running as a libertarian candidate, not because I feel running as a libertarian candidate, not because I feel that infrastructure has a tremendous fundraising infrastructure, and because it's the only platform that espouses because it's the only platform that espouses a return to constitutional party. To my mind, has a very solid. To my mind, has a very solid. They just don't abide by. Purpose they just don't abide by. That's fantastic. I always say he agrees. Whoever ends up in that seat, I hope can't can't. Whoever whoever ends up in that seat. Um, but I do everything to the philosophy of liberty. Um, at every do decision to the philosophy of liberty. At every making ourselves, are we making more free? Are we making ourselves? Are we more free? Right, right by the citizenry, or are we loving another right by the citizenry, or are we loving another bird on? That's where I'll wrap it up for now. I really welcome. Uh, that's where I'll wrap it up for now. I really welcome. Uh, any any questions? Thanks. Question for the great. Thanks. Any questions? Can I speak a few minutes? Can you speak a few minutes? There, there are a couple of little issues. There, there are a couple of issues that I have more than one question, but I have more than one question. But what do you want to know about? And what do you know about? Where do you stand on Congress? Where do you stand on Congress? And I would both take a couple of minutes. Take a couple of minutes. Yeah. 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 It's top down, down, top down education, education system, top down the, the curriculum, top down education system, system. They're all the curriculum or textbooks that are all on a black board that are official, uh, from particularly those, those that are the larger state, the the particular those that are the larger state, uh, because the they can populate the, uh, uh, because they can the, uh, uh, smaller states have less bargaining power, and smaller states have less bargaining power in that kind of market, too. My personal take on it is, my the education needs to reside as closely to the education needs to reside as closely to parents' job. 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 Parents' with that in mind, um, so keeping it the curriculum that in mind, as close to keeping the, parents, there, the curriculum the local level, as close to the state parents, level, but local level, really hope we can get away from the federal level. level. I really, really hope we can get away from the federal level. We're pretty much in a hundred percent agreement on that issue. We're pretty much in a hundred percent agreement on that issue. We have not only the work, we have the learning standards, the learning standards, work credits.
question, Major? This is English speaking. This is English speaking.
You know, I'm hoping uh, that the uh, advancement of technology, uh, perhaps advancement of technology, perhaps less expensive to provide that service, less expensive to provide that service. We've had that discussion down the middle. So we've had that discussion down the middle so for many years. You know, kind of ask the callers without it, kind of ask the callers about it in, in a simple fashion. You know, they cannot provide it. You know, they cannot provide so, it. I mean, I mean, everybody in this region is saying, I mean, that's what you make in this region. That's what you make in this region. That's a simple answer. That's a simple answer. That's certainly a concern. Well, my take, sir, is that um, I, 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 I really like my to What part of Hanover am I going to live? I'm going to live because I'm going to live and work in Axel. I'm going to live because of where I have this comfort is where I have this comfort is the notion that we would go to the state legislature. The notion that we go to the state identified because we think it's a social problem or we think it's a necessity. Um, we think it's a necessity to give special um, favors or tax breaks or give some sort of incentive or tax breaks or some sort of incentive to, some some to that whenever, every, whenever, whenever you that whenever uh, whenever you government uh, manipulate the market or through government or involved manipulate the market or distortion or something involved so that perhaps the distortion if the if so perhaps the says like the let's say the government DSL Richmond says let's give credit to DSL DSL fiber optic credit to DSL and that's fiber optic no incentive for the satellite service well there's no incentive for the satellite service never know that you have the unseen you never know that you have the unseen cheaper fast satellite service better and cheaper faster so better and I really hesitate to say I was really hesitation to say um, more so let's, let's, let's hand out special favors. Um, even as much as the family, even as the family, as much as the family, I'm going to call that. Yeah, I'm going to call that. 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 Same sex marriage and what are your views on abortion? And what are your views on abortion? We, we may be we actually may be different on these, sir. We may be um, so so different on these, sir. Um, and um, so, so who do you, who do you prefer to go first? Well, I'm, who do you, who do you prefer to go first? Well, I'm I am uh, leaving the judicial marriage. I'm, I'm a Christian leaving the judicial marriage. I'm a I believe in uh, pro life. I believe in pro life. that I am. Say that I have, you know, this is very, you know, I don't be very low in my head. I don't be able to what I try to do is have what I try to say to people is have a conversation with them and lead them to where I'm at. I lead them to different areas. I lead them to different areas. Mr. Fowler is probably a, a good um, deal more concise than I would probably a, a um, good deal more concise than I would. Because, because um, my take on both because, because is not, my take really, on both uh, is, is not under hey, I'm really, uh, the, the same. Hey, I'm a pro life and I am pro. So I am pro life and I am married. pro one man and I am pro marriage person. That's as far as marriage goes. I really believe. As far as marriage goes, I really believe that no state business whatsoever. No safety business whatsoever. I feel that their that their job is. I feel that their that their job is the arbitration of private involuntary contract. The arbitration of private involuntary contract. They're the arbiter of disputes otherwise. They're in the arbiter of disputes otherwise. They're in and they're to enforce that when they go and give that when they go and one type of contract that's privilege called marriage. One type of contract that's that's called marriage. We have to understand. We have to surprise it. We have to understand. We should be surprised about us too. One another the privilege of about us too. I don't think it's much of a married couple. I don't think it's much at all. But all. But that's all. That's what happens. But every time that's what happens. That's what happens. But every time we go to government, we recognize in peaceful private voluntary. There's there's that um there's that um there's that um there's that um unforeseen as as far as the abortion issue goes as as far as what I'd like to see is a what I'd like to see elimination of state production elimination of state at the federal level for sure. Uh, see, at the federal level, for sure, at this uh, level, at, at Virginia's level, at this level, no dollars. At Virginia's level, such a device, no dollars. So many people feel that it is truly taking away from myself. So many people feel that it is truly taking away from myself. So let's not provide the more hazard. I don't want to say provide the more hazard. 
it sets, it sets that plan B the option it, there. It sets that plan B option there. It sets more hazard for that dangerous work. So I'd say remove the public funding. So I'd say remove the public funding. And look to change people's minds. And look to putting on change people's minds. Putting it in our state code isn't going to make it go away. Putting it in our state code isn't going to make it go away. Do you know we've got If I may, you came to listen to them. If I may, if I may add, you came to listen to them. If I may Rob Sarvis said something in way of it. If Rob Sarvis said something really in way of it. Really, I think Rob there that evening. May and others that were there that evening. Either believe in the Constitution, either believe in the Constitution, or you don't. Or you Unless you're like Barack Obama, you just pick and choose. Unless you're like Barack Obama, you just pick and choose. Parts of it, you know, when it's convenient. Parts of it, Rob Sarvis said the following. And Rob Sarvis said the following. Careful. You began to use the instruments of government. You began to use the instruments of government. Pivot. Behavioral pivot. Because once you do that, because once you do that, where do you draw the line? When you use power and you instruments use of government, power and instruments of government. Prohibit. That's a slippery slope. That's a slippery use the power of your Christian slope. Wage power of your Christian change people's hearts and minds. Someone over change here. people's hearts uh, and minds. Uh, I'm trying to keep in order. 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 I'm trying to keep in so there's a good side and a bad side. So there's a good side and a bad side. It seems like lawyers can change it. But it seems like lawyers can change it. But they like to work law. They like to work law. Jim. Jim. Tell us what it is. Jim. Tell us what it is. I recently called. I recently called and spoke to you about specifically about. He spoke to you specifically about the Department of Environment. Environment. Do either of you propose to do either of you propose the one where it says the committee and you have to read it for two hours and then you have time to read it for maybe two hours with the rubber stampers for the committee, John Cox rubber stamp. Uh, I understand the need to and the regulation need to follow my regulation slash question slash my statement slash question is do you plan plan to propose legislation plan to propose legislation the regulation to minimize the board the regulation, EPA, across the board, the care we need to think about that stuff. I don't care about it. We need to think about that stuff. Spur the economy or send it to zero. We need to be spur the economy and that's going to be pushing back on the federal level as well. And that's going to need to be pushed back on the federal level as well. Do I have any plans to introduce legislation? Do I have any plan to introduce legislation to those departments? Who's limited those departments in the state of Virginia? My take on pollution, sir, my take on follows or operate is that if no one has the right proper right to violate no one has the right to violate the proper right to violate the 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 right to so if, if you abide by strict property rights, so you know, if you abide by strict property rights, uh, you know, we don't need phone books of regulation from the uh, state level. Uh, I'm all for it at a new state, state level, but not I'm all for it. reducing it. Not if it's not a grant privilege, privilege to pollute not other people's property. Not if it's a grant to pollute other people's property. The problem we have now, uh, the problem we have now, trying to implement the kind of stormwater rights, which is going to be a consent agreement, which we enter into a consent agreement, kind of environmental protection, a quality and choice between, a quality and choice between, you come up with a program, Virginia, you come up with a program to redress the tributary of Chesapeake Bay, or the tributary of Chesapeake Bay, we'll come up with one for you. We'll come up with one for you. We'll come up with one for you. Obviously, we'll come up with their own plan. We'll come up with their own plan. You know, they've signed models they're using. We are aware the models they're that using. We are the aware model that everything is the wrong. EPA model is no way to measure. Wrong. There's no way to measure or implement whether or not how much in terms of how much in terms of nitrogen and phosphorus and how much nitrogen and phosphorus and how much going in, preventing from going in. There's a lot of 
there's going to be a lot of guys. There's going to be a fight when I join that fight. You know, I think it's one way that fight. You know, I think it's one of the regulations that you have to regulations that you have to measure the results. You can measure the results. We want to go back to our tax rates. We want to go back to our tax rates. Yes, we know this is costing you money. Yes, we know this is costing you right now. This is things going to cost you right now. This thing is going to cost you. I think there is more than that. So I think there is a lot of pushback on the EPA. A lot of pushback on the EPA. It's imperative that we just wide so the curve of the vision. You know, the lake mark uh, also, uh, and uh, King Kuchin Alley, because, because, you know, King Kuchin Alley, the Republican governor, the Republican governor, the Republican attorney general, the other ones are the Republican attorney general, the other ones are the Republican attorney general, the other ones are the Republican attorney general, the If we don't have that ability, if we don't have that ability, the general assembly is going to have a challenge. So, but I'm willing to try and push back on that. I'm willing to do that. Specific legislation. I'm not specific legislation. I'm not specific what I would do. What specific what I would do. Now, uh, Doug and Cox actually put it out. Uh, Doug and Cox actually put it two years ago when all this was coming down. Two years ago when all this was coming down. Which said. That okay. said we agreed to this program. That we agreed to this program. The EPA is going to be with you in terms of the abortion. In terms so of what that does, that, that does give us a vehicle. What that does, that does give us a vehicle to go with that. That's something that we have. But, but that's, that's where something that we have. The pushback. That's where he is on the pushback. Whether or not he is on the work and whether or not he is on the work. It's nice to be a Obviously, it's nice to be a Brian, you covered some of these. I was just asking. You covered some of these. I was just asking ask about legislative agenda. Take three issues. Uh, I say just take three, three issues as you work for. Five three five issues as you work for. Four, by the way. If you remove a law, that's good too. If you remove a law, that's good too. I'd love to see. I'd love to see what the code we have on the books right now. We have on the books right now, rather than just piling on sentence by sentence. Go back and maybe fix a few things. Sentence by sentence, go back and maybe fix a few things here and there. We'd start taking an axe to things. We'd start taking an axe. I'd say some of the key issues that I see around are just some of the key issues that I see around are just right to do anyway. Right to produce and sell. Right to sell. Right to produce. Right to sell. Right to sell. Whatever it is that you grow on your property. Right to sell. Whatever it is that you buy or do on your property. The right to buy or to consider that we need more tax payers. We need more tax I understand where you're coming from, sir, but I think we need more tax payers. I understand where you're coming from, sir, but I think we have less bureaucratic regulation that gets in the way of right now. We have less bureaucratic regulation that gets in the way of right now. That's one of the departments. Right now, that's one of the departments. And then there's also a proposed amendment. Last year, there's also a proposed amendment. Last year, that basically gives the farmer. Tools, tax, machinery, tools, tax, 
you know, why we didn't, uh, you know, why we didn't you know, tax the means of production. It's just never been taxed in the means of production. But it's definitely a big thing. It's much more than you need to, uh, tax 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 more than you need how they how the use the IRS. So, 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 you know, and, and also, so, you know, and, and also, just, just the notion of something only wrong to me that we're going to penalize, only wrong to me that we're going to penalize five harder to earn more. We seek to okay. If we have a consumption based tax, it's a big And I'm not a consumption based tax. I don't like any consumption. I'm not, I'm
tax on wealth in the making. You know, that's a tax on wealth in the making. Consumption is that you've already made your wealth. Consumption is that you've already made your wealth. Well, so it's the economic standpoint. Yeah, trying to make sure everybody gets uh, yeah, trying to make sure everybody gets uh, a this question. This is really in. not a question, but this is really not a question. But many of us in this room four years ago, many of us in this room four years ago, Republican Party, Senate Governor, Republican Attorney General, Lieutenant Governor, House of Delegates, Attorney General. House of Delegates uh, Senate, and uh, they didn't have uh, the largest tax hike in the history of the state of Virginia, which is an old state. state of which is an old state. state. I, feel and I, feel and I, feel I look at this going, I look at this going, this is what our leaders, in the Republican creed, <coughs> <what our> <coughs> want uh, financial responsibility on all levels. Financial responsibility on all levels. That happened. And I don't feel that you have a comment on that. You have a comment. Your delegate, well, you live in a big spin. Your delegate, well, my delegate's first time. Well, my delegate's first time. He was for that. And I wish somebody was for that. And I wish somebody would run against him. The delegate was against him. Uh, of other people who want to be damaged, 
Uh, as far as offshore drilling, no. Uh, as far as offshore drilling, no. The VP incident, incident, no. Uh, the, the VP incident, no. Uh, the VP incident, it's, 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 uh, it's tough and it's right in memory. It's, 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 uh, it's tough and it's right in memory. Um, you know, recently, to my mind, um, it's really to tough for those companies to say, look, we have really tough all those failures to say, we got it figured out, there's no way, we got it figured out, there's no way, and it's going to happen. So, with that in mind, I don't know that it's really, with that in mind, I don't know that it's really, Right, the Commonwealth of Virginia to grant license to the Commonwealth of Virginia to say have at it. Companies and you know, say have at it. There's a uh, and you know, five hundred million dollars. You know, you know, five hundred million dollars. You know, we'll just hold you accountable. Uh, we'll just hold you accountable. Uh, and and that, that just doesn't sit well with me. I understand that. That just doesn't sit well with me. I understand that. We're buying on that. There's almost fewer jobs and big numbers on the fewer jobs and and you know, big come out. I think we have to weigh it out. You know, we have. I think we have to weigh it out. That they're not going to really we be do certain, serious damage. That they're not going to really do serious damage to long term damage, which is a which is a natural resource for Virginia. Which is a which is a natural resource for Virginia. That coast. You know, I support the, the right. offshore. You know, I support the, the offshore exploration, uh, drilling, exploration, uh, drilling, oil, and natural gas. You know, uh, you know, I gas. Uh, uh, environmental uh, concern. Is an environmental much more concern. With that that one, much more comfortable with that when you get the stuff that's out there now and the stuff that's out there now. Like I said, you know, there like are accidents. accidents. We all realize there are accidents. That. Most part, we all realize that. The most part, we all realize that. The most part, we all realize that. Jeez, I don't know how long it's been done, and it's been done, and it's been done, and it's been saved, and it's jobs, and it's been saved, 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 and it's we have low grade uranium or creates tailings, I guess from the word, or tailings, extra like stuff that's left over, you know, the extra means stuff that's left over, which means a problem, you know, politically, one problem, you know, one problem, you know, problem, you know, problem, you know, problem, you know, problem, problem, you know, problem, everybody down there in that area, you know, everybody down there in that area, you know, the legislators are from Hannah County, legislators are from Hannah County, and ran this thing down in y'all's state, we're going to write this down in y'all's throat, I would like to see those people down there, I would like to see those people down there, the soul of their state, I wouldn't want people to live in Pennsylvania County, County, you know, kind of turn into Pennsylvania County, County, you know, kind of turn into what goes on in Hanover. So it's you know, what goes but on in Hanover. So I'm inclined to support it. You know, I'm inclined to support it. All that we can do and say to the How many times? Show of hands here. How many times? Show of hands. You want to rebuild. How many times? Someone to rebuild. 2.3 million dollars beachfront home. 2.3 million dollars beachfront home. How many? Zero. How many times do you want to subsidize Zero. rebuilding? Zero. How many times do you want to subsidize rebuilding? Zero. Risk management right. is part of my background. Risk management is it's part of my background. Private insurance industry. Private insurance industry will underwrite the risk associated with mining. Will underwrite the risk associated with uranium mining. Go forward, mining. My friend. Go forward. What my does friend. it tell you? Well, what does private it tell insurance you? Insurance industry won't insure private a home. Insurance industry won't insure a home on the ocean. What's that the ocean. Too much Why are we doing it? Too much Why are we doing it? Why are we doing it? Stupid. Why are we doing it? Stupid. Hey. And uranium mining. Hey. And uranium mining. Hey. Private mining company. Private underwrite industry. The potential underwrite. Long term potential. Can come for it. Long term damage. By all means. Come for it. Go at it. By all means. But if the go at it. Insurance industry says. But if the private insurance the industry says. Yet. The science is not yet. The satisfaction. We don't know where our liability is. We don't know where our liability is. We don't know how long that tail is. We don't know how long that tail is. Language. Uh, language. Uh, then, then that's, that's, uh, then I don't want taxpayers on the hook. I don't want taxpayers on the hook if things are wrong. You know, we're all the jobs excited about that. You know, we're all excited about that. About that. We're all excited about that. 40 years of fuel breaking up. Contrary to the eggheads in the Contrary to the eggheads in the Lord, move on. We're 30 or 40 years away from breaking our We're 30 or 40 years away from breaking our house. I'm the job. Fossil, but I'm off with the job. Taxpayers should not be the underwriters. Taxpayers should not be the underwriters. And the legislators. And the legislators of their paymasters. Because of their paymasters. Have often stuck taxpayers. Have often stuck with the bill. With a major bill. 
uh, major. I think I know what he's saying about this. I think I know what he's saying on this. That is probably that is probably the root cause situation we are now in. Situation we are now in. Korea's politics. Korea has been politics fifty years. We've been there for fifty years. Would you? Buddy, support. Would you, buddy, support? I mean, I think I can support that. I think I can support that. Let me just point out the difference. Let me just point out the difference. Legislature, stay around that legislature. Stay around that legislature. But again, I can support that term. But again, I can support that term. I can support any bill. Like 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 any bill. Like support 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 any bill. Like
want some time for one more question. We want time for one more question. Thank you, Dr. Chris, thank you, Dr. Chris. 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 Chris, thank you, Dr